What is up, Drum Alert Nation? I'm your host, Keller Keemstar. Let's get right into the news. Now, guys, normally we uh, cover a lot of lighthearted stories here, crack some jokes, but today we have a very, very serious story to talk to you about. And it all started over a competitive Call of Duty game for, get this, $1.00. And 50 cents. Last night on UMG Gaming's website, two Call of Duty teams known as LOL and Nuck the Children faced off on Call of Duty World War II on PlayStation for a cash prize of $1.50. Now, obviously, one team lost and one team won, but at the end of the match, both teams started arguing with each other. And the argument escalated to the point where they were threatening to swat each other. Now, for those of you that don't know, swatting is known as an online prank. It's not much of a prank, it's pretty serious. It's when somebody gets someone else's address online, calls into the police, and makes a false police report that there's a hostage situation going on or there's a murder going on, causing the police guns a-blazing to go to the address of their enemy. One of the teams dared the other team to go ahead and swat him. He said, please try some shit. I'll be waiting, posting this address. I'll have you in prison for five years, buddy. Casey already gave me all the proof I need. So once the other team got that address, they didn't do the swatting themselves, but they sent it to a known swatter, a hacker who's been swatting Call of Duty pros and who has been putting in bomb threats to the last MLG event earlier this month. They sent it to a swatter known as Swatastic. And once Swatastic got this address, he called in a fake hostage situation to that address with the police. And when the police showed up, they shot and killed a 28 year old father who had nothing to do at all with this situation. It happened in Wichita, Kansas. Man dies after being shot by a Wichita officer investigating a possible homicide. The local news known as the Wichita Eagle interviewed the family to find out exactly what took place. Here is that interview. Roll it. I know I had seen the red and blue lights flashing in my window. I heard my son scream. I got up and then I heard a shot. And as I was walking by, this door was open. The police said, come out with your hands up. They took me, my roommate, and my granddaughter who witnessed the shooting and had to step over her dying uncle's body to come. They took us outside with no shoes on. They handcuffed us, you know. Why couldn't they? Yeah, they didn't call the ambulance until after he was dead. And what gives the cops the right to open fire? Why didn't they give him the same warning they gave us? I mean, that cop murdered my son over a false report in the first place. Yeah, Andy, my son was not a gamer. He was not a gamer. No. So they, so they just knocked on the door. It was. They that didn't way. knock on the door. My son opened it because he heard something. He screamed, and then they shot him. This is so incredibly sad and unbelievable that this even happened. UMG, the website where the Call of Duty competitive match took place, put out this statement. We woke up this morning to the horrible news about an incident with a man losing his life. Our hearts go out to his loved ones. We will do everything we can to assist authorities in this matter. And get this, the swatter, the person that made the fake police call, he said this on Twitter. I didn't get anyone killed because I didn't discharge a weapon. And being a SWAT member, isn't my profession. Unfucking believable Now, I could not believe that this hacker, swatter, or whatever wasn't taking any responsibility whatsoever. So we reached out to him, and we asked him if we could get an interview with him, and we did. And this is what the person that made this fake police call said. Roll it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the alleged swatter on here, uh, SWAT-tistic. Um, <laughs> So you were involved in this swatting where the 28-year-old man was shot and killed, correct? Um, allegedly. 
I was involved. Allegedly. Uh, well, you took responsibility on Twitter, and then your Twitter got suspended, right? Um, I changed my username. Someone took the username, and that username got suspended. My account never got suspended. Okay, so... What happened in this situation? You were playing a uh, competitive match. I was, minding, I was minding my own business at the library. Someone contacted me and said, hey, dude, this fucking retard just gave me his address and he thinks nothing's going to happen. Uh, you want to you know, prove him wrong? And I said, sure, I love swatting kids who think that nothing's going to happen. And then uh, I followed the kid that he wanted me to swat. And the kid that he wanted me to swat sent me a DM saying um he basically messaged me with an address saying uh well i'm waiting for you to do something pussy this and that and then um you know uh an attempt was made to swat that address so you you swatted that address correct sure okay right. so you swatted the address you put in the the fake hostage situation correct yep and then this guy gets killed that's what happened, I guess. And you said I mean, you true. you said this on Twitter. You said I didn't get anyone killed because I didn't discharge a weapon, and being on a SWAT uh, a SWAT member isn't my profession. So do you, do you take right? Do you take any responsibility for what happened? Um, the argument can be made that the police would have never showed up if I didn't make the call. However, um, I don't believe that I'm the only guilty party involved in this whole incident, considering I was contacted and, um, you know, it almost instructed to SWAT and taunted to SWAT and address. I mean, of course, if you want to, I mean, you could say that, of course, I was involved. However, I mean, other people were involved. I mean, yeah, the call was made by me, but um, as far as the whole incident, uh, you could point the finger at numerous people. Um, you could point the finger at the cop who killed someone. You could point the finger at the guy who made the call. You could point the finger at the person who provided the address saying, oh, look, this is where I live. Go ahead and swap me. If you do, then you're going to go to prison for five years. Uh, so it's really, um, in my opinion, uh, debatable as far as... Now, why did, they, why did they go to you to do the swatting. Is it because you have this reputation of swatting people? Were you involved in swatting uh, MLG Dallas? Yeah. What, 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 why, why did you do that? Why do you swat people? Um, I don't really swat people. Uh, I just evacuate stuff. Sometimes, I mean, um, in, in this case, you, in this case, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Sometimes people will send me uh, money on PayPal to swap someone, though typically, uh, since I kind of just work alone and do my own thing, um, I just look for things to evacuate. It didn't take a team of people to evacuate MLG Dallas. I just did that by myself. Same thing with um, the FCC. No. I just evacuate stuff for fun just to get it on TV. Um, I don't just look for random people to uh, swat and, and terrorize. Like I don't really swap people. I just evacuate stuff for fun just to just do it because I know the police aren't going to catch me for doing that. So You're not worried about getting arrested for all these crimes? Uh, not for the evacuations. What about Although, this? What, where, where, what about this where the person got, uh, someone got killed because of this? You're not worried about that? Yeah. Am I? Well, what do you mean I'm not worried about that? Are you what worried you that, that they'll find you, that the FBI will find you and you'll be arrested and charged for this? Um, it, it, I mean, I think about it. Uh, I mean, I've, I've thought about a lot of stuff. I mean, worried, yeah, but uh, currently not so much. Um, so, I mean, my response to that. What do you? What would you say to the family? Like that? I mean, this this family doesn't have a. You know, these kids don't have a parent. You know, the mother has lost a son. This family has lost a member of their family because of your actions. Because, uh, I mean, I guess you could, I guess, I, I guess it's just all how you look at it. Um, you, if you, if you want to look at it that way, uh, I mean, I'm sure that they wouldn't appreciate seeing the picture of the person um, providing that address and then saying, this is where I live. Go ahead and swat me. I'm sure that they wouldn't like seeing their address put out there like that. I mean, there's, 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 like I said, there's so many different ways to look at it. They wouldn't, you know what I mean? Like, 
Yeah, there's multiple people. There's multiple people that caused this to happen, right? But you're the one that actually made the the false call to the police, right? Uh, I hear you. Do you feel sad about it? Like, it, it, if I caused uh, somebody to die like that, I wouldn't be able to sleep. Is there any empathy? Uh, uh, well, I it's my personal belief that I didn't cause someone to die. Uh, I guess. I seen on Twitter uh, you threatening um, Zuma, Faye Zuma, right? Uh, uh, you saw me. You saw me looking uh, to get some attention from Zuma, right? I was seeking attention. It's called attention seeking, right? I, I mean. But you, you really think I'm gonna do? But you were threatening huh? to SWAT him. Uh, um, I I guess you can say that. Uh, he he did receive tweets from a Twitter account that I have access to, uh, which which you could say the, the tweets were threats. Um, so, although he never got swatted. What do you mean when you say had access to? Like I thought you worked alone. Well, I'm just I'm just uh, you know. That's just how I thought. How I'm saying it. How, okay, how old are you? Just out of curiosity. Um, I'm over 18. You're over 18? What What do yeah. you think your parents would uh, think about this if they found out? Uh, dude, I don't have parents. You don't have parents? No. Is there any remorse at all? Do you want to apologize to the family? Do you want to apologize to anyone? Or do you really think that this is just not your fault? Um, well, I'm, I mean, when you, when you want to say your fault, if you want, because you're using the word your, and it's almost, you know, like you're, you're speaking to me. So, um, if, if anyone is going to take blame, I'm just, I'm, let's just say that I'm not going to, what I'm going to say is I'm not going to take blame by myself because I wasn't, you know, it wasn't, I didn't just seek to swat some person just to do it. Like I was contact, I was minding my own business. I was given an address. I was taunted by someone. So that it was, it was, like I said, there was three, it was really initially three people involved with, um, with the incident. There, there's three parties involved and they were all, all used as instruments, um, in what resulted in someone getting killed. It wasn't just, it wasn't just me. You, right. so. Ladies oh, and gentlemen, uh, like, I, I mean, go ahead. No, you go ahead. I was just gonna, I was just gonna end the interview. I don't think any more could be said, really. Yeah, well, of course, uh, if if uh, let's say if I was in a courtroom or if I was speaking to, um, you know, the family that lost one of their loved ones, of course, I would be sorry for it. I, I, I of course, I'm sorry. However, you have to understand, I wasn't holding a gun and I didn't shoot someone. That's 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 really my only argument. My only argument is I didn't shoot someone. Not that I'm not responsible for someone's death in any way. Um, but yeah, my only argument is I didn't actually shoot someone, which is you know, that's that just goes without saying. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard it here from SWAT Tastic, uh, a person involved in this swatting that caused a 28 year old man to lose his life. All right. Unfortunately. Thanks for uh, thanks for the interview, dude. This whole situation is just sad, dude. I can't believe you're not more remorseful. Uh, I I am, um, but you weren't asking questions regarding remorse, and I did say that I I felt a certain way. I just the, the only thing I wasn't going to take responsibility for was killing someone because I didn't kill anyone. Now I didn't say that I have absolutely no responsibility in. Um, or regarding the death of this individual, which admittedly I do, unfortunately, and it really sucks being connected to this incident in any fucking way. And if I could rewind, I would, because this is all stupid. And well, well just ended. One more question, real quick. Um, if do you think if the cops catch you, do you think you should be charged for murder and found guilty? <laughs> no, I don't. But that doesn't mean that I don't think I should do um, any jail time. You should do jail time or shouldn't? Uh, I don't think that I should not do jail time, but I don't think that I should do life or, or get charged with murder. That's all. I'm not saying I don't think I should do any time at all, though, because I, I admittedly, yeah, I was involved. So, uh, you know, and if I get caught and charged, then so be it. And I'll do whatever, you know, I'll do whatever time they give me. I'll serve whatever sentence because, you know, it's just, it is what it is.
All right, man. I'm going to let you go. A lot of lives yeah. have been ruined from this situation. Yeah, unfortunately. 